Hey guys, it's Mega Duke TV here, or the alternate here. It's time for another commentary. Today I'm doing a commentary on Clay Claymore's commentary on Doug Walker or the Nostalgia Critics Where's the Fair Use video. Originally, I wasn't going to do this commentary considering the fact that this is Clay Claymore we're talking about, but this video is fucking garbage. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Online videos have come a long way, haven't they? But isn't your video a reaction in itself? Now granted, you actually edit and add something, but your video can still be considered a reaction. We've gone from the novelty of just filming our cats, to budgeted studios that turn out professional work every year. As well as the novelty of just filming our cats. But there's a group of entertainers that- Really? You are going to quote entertainers? The definition of an entertainer is a person such as a singer, dancer, or comedian whose job is to entertain others. And what do most content creators make? Entertainment for subscribers and viewers. Now granted, what you said was probably a joke, but what I'm saying is that your joke is, hmm, what's the word? Retarded. Despite growing more and more popular and having done this for years, still meet with a lot of hostility from Hollywood. And those are the entertainers who incorporate fair use. This is what we do. And this matters... why exactly? I mean, what does the quality of Doug's videos have anything to do with what he's talking about? Now for those who don't know, fair use is the doctrine that states excerpts of copyright material may, under certain circumstances, be quoted verbatim for purposes such as criticism, news reporting, teaching, and research, without the need for permission from or payment to the copyright holder. But that is the definition of fair use. Yes, fair use is extremely complicated, no denying that, but how is giving a definition of fair use quote-unquote oversimplifying it? <laughs> uh, that wasn't funny. Since the early days, there's always been something that was going to destroy the innocent artists who just want to do nothing but give you movies. First it was TV, VHS recording, then it was DVR, DVD rippers, and now, right on cue, it's the internet. Oh, poor Hollywood! Look at all the box office records you're breaking in the past 10 years! Look at all the new filmmakers that wouldn't exist without online media! Look at all the digital commercial tie-ins and trailers that you're exploiting the hell out of! You're killing him, Internet! You're strangling him like a newborn unicorn who just wants to give you rainbows! And you are missing Doug's point, which he further elaborates right before you cut him off. His point is that Hollywood shouldn't be so strict when it comes to dealing with content creators, seeing how the internet is not harming or affecting Hollywood in any negative way. And again, he says it right after you cut him off. Maybe he didn't know about it. And yes, I emphasize the word maybe. Because, Clay, there is a difference between not giving a shit and not knowing. Now, do I know Doug's true intentions? Fuck no. But neither do you, Clay, and you saying he's only doing this for himself is a baseless assumption. You know, especially considering there are people who appear in Doug's video and give their own take on things, YMS and I Hate Everything, for examples. So, obviously, like in the days of TV and so forth, internet did not kill or weaken the Hollywood system. But that didn't stop them from trying to take control anyway, as we saw with acts like SOPA giving complete control to U.S. law enforcement to combat online copyright infringement. With no due process. Yeah, that was a scary time for the internet. Google even shut down their site in protest. And this isn't even that long ago. Now, thankfully, that act never passed, but that doesn't mean their practices aren't still being put into effect. Hi, I'm Alex from I Hate Everything. Three days after I released my review of Cool Cat Saves the Kids, a terrible, infamously bad movie, I received a suspicious copyright strike from the... Oh, so now you are going to skip? You played Doug Walker's video up to that point only to say, I'm just going to skip. And even then, you aren't even refuting I Hate Everything's point on how people can just file false copyright claims against content creators. Okay, two problems. Number one, it's copyright, not copyright. 
God, do you even watch your videos before you upload them? And number two, what content creator is even saying that they are copyright experts? And with that logic, why are you even making this video? I mean, you are not a copyright expert. And finally, watch this video. This video was made by an actual copyright attorney who says he, he as a whole agrees with the WTFU hashtag movement. I'll link the video in the description below. But you know something? Again, do you see how hypocritical your logic is? There are tons of videos that are taken down unfairly on YouTube. Trying to Why is it a big deal that he's using his own reviews as examples? Especially, you know, considering this is his video? Is there a system in place? In theory. After Google bought YouTube, Viacom immediately went to court against them for all the content being played without their permission. Funny seeing how Viacom actually uploaded about a hundred of the videos they tried to sue YouTube over. YouTube was able to defend itself with the DMCA safe harbor provisions. They created a system that would shed any responsibility for any- And you aren't even trying to refute his points. I mean, clearly because Doug isn't a copyright expert, you should have no problem refuting his points. So why aren't you? And again, why even play all of that when you're just gonna say, Oh, I want to skip because I'm a fucking retard who doesn't feel like going over the fucking video because I'm so fucking lazy. There are no penalties for companies creating false claims or strikes. In fact, there's a claim where you can take someone's monetization on a video, even if the claim turns out to be false. So if a studio says, hey, your Event Horizon review, that's our review, 100%. They can take the money you're supposed to be making on it until you file a counterclaim. And if they never fight it or are proven to be wrong, they still get to keep all the money that they made on you. No questions asked. So Doug isn't allowed to complain on the fact that his own money is basically being stolen from him? Wow, you are a fucking idiot. Well, what if it does? No, seriously, what if it actually does change something? You and I don't know for certain, but we are never going to know unless people speak out about it and make a noise. I mean, seriously. I mean, what if it actually does change something? To a point where we've had to change our content dramatically. Clips of films have been intensely reduced down, and some reviews don't even use clips. They use reenactments. <sighs> How does that refute Doug's point? And even then, humor is subjective anyway. The studios have made it clear they are not going to play fair, and they will step over anybody's rights that they need to to get exactly what they want. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me actually read this. This is something that has been irking me. People, fair use is a defense, not a right. Wow. You actually made a decent point. Nice job. Now please, tell me how you're going to follow up on this pretty good point. It's not a get out of jail free card for you to review an episode or a movie while showing more or less the entire episode or movie. I wish more people understood that. So what you are saying is that watching a movie review is the equivalent of wa of, of of watching the actual movie? <laughs> okay, okay, I I'm done, I'm done. Uh. I don't think I need to explain how stupid that sounds. Content creators like us have only gotten bigger, and all your attempts to keep us down have only made us stronger. No matter what you do, we will always find a way to comment, to praise, to criticize, to satirize, and to educate. And to all the YouTubers out there, whether you make a living at this or you just watch for entertainment, this is something we all need to stick together on. And how is it Doug's fault if fanboys do happen to flag this video? I mean, it's not like he told anybody to do that. We need to show this isn't okay and it never will be okay. 
If we can make it clear now that fair use is real, it's being abused, and it's hurting the growth of an industry you love to watch or produce, we can create a more stable environment for new creators to produce great work. What the fuck does Teen Titans Go or Powerpuff Girls have anything to do with fair use and copyright? Honestly, if you're sick and tired of people talking about these cartoons, why are you even bringing it up? The internet is a place where anyone can become famous. Let's try to keep it that way. Internet famous is not the same as famous famous? Wait, what? The definition of famous is known by a lot of people. Let's say hypothetically you have 100,000 subscribers. That means you are known by 100,000 people and followed by 100,000 people. That sounds famous to me. Well, if man children are only doing this for attention, then I guess they are winning. You know, considering you are actually making a video about this, feeding them attention. Hey, it's your logic, not mine. I'm just simply refuting it. Well, I'm gonna skip the rest of his video because I'm bored and I don't really don't want to do this anymore. Well, final thoughts. This video is awful. The level of, hi of hypocrisy is also strong in this one as well. I mean, Clay, with your logic, this video that you're doing right now is infringing Doug's copyright and Doug should take it down. Do you see how retarded that sounds? You're pretty much defending the false copyright claims that fuck YouTubers over big time. <sighs> Anyways, this is Mega TV here, or the Ultra Ant here, signing off. Have a nice day, everybody.